Good afternoon everyone, welcome to the Radisson Blue here in Manchester, the first of our two press conferences today. Always very exciting to see some young blood, and especially some quality young blood, entering the pro ranks and starting his journey with matron boxing and I'm delighted to announce our latest signing, um, the GB the amateur, the Commonwealth Games gold medalist, the ABA champion, Scott Fitzgerald uh, from Preston. Uh, Scott is a, a great young fighter, obviously we, we've been watching and we do watch meticulously the amateurs coming through and, and the fresh young blood in the sport and Scott is someone that we watched during the Commonwealth Games and straight away I felt like he had a style that was perfect for the pro ranks. Um, going to be operating in the light middleweight division, um, going to have a lot of support from the North West. He will debut on the November the 7th card in Liverpool, headlined by Callum Smith and Rocky Fielding, and he'll also box on the Collar Perez card here in Manchester. So very, very excited about that, and uh, firstly, as always, it's a pleasure to be dealing with Steve Wood, who will be Scott's official manager, and uh, Steve, excited about the future of Scott. Yeah, it's um, good news for me because uh, I've had some really good fighters from the amateurs, ABA champions. I've never been involved with uh, anyone coming from the GB squad. So, really and truly, a bit of pressure on myself now because uh, I've brought kids along who weren't expected to do anything to be champions. I've had ABA champions who have come along with none of it, British European champions. So, really and truly, it's got to the first one that coming along where I've got to deliver. So I've been very, very disappointed if we don't uh, become world champion in Scott. So that's the pressure for me and that's what I'm going to try and make sure we do in the right way. Well, like you said, you've got a reputation for the Cinderella stories. Josh Warrington come through for your shows. Of course, Terry Fanning, the world champion. Mm. Sean Masher Dodd at the weekend. So this should be plain sailing for you. Well, I mean, I mean this, this guy's got the pedigree. He's supposed to be a world champion. The others are getting there. You know, through the back door. Well, that's why he asked me to look after him to make sure that uh, you don't rush him too quick, and so uh, I'll be watching you there. Good. And Scott, obviously a big day for you. You've had a fantastic amateur career, and now you're going to be out uh, boxing very regularly on Sky Sports and on these big shows and start the great journey. Yeah, cheers, Eddie. Um, I'm absolutely buzzing to be signing with Eddie. Uh, that's why I worked hard in the amateurs and won what I won to make sure I could get the more I wanted. And, uh, what I see Eddie doing, big shows in the minute, they're all great shows, I can't wait to get on and get the start of the show journey now, so ready to go. Obviously, the GB setup is, is fantastic for young fighters, I think. So many of the guys have signed with us from there, the facilities, the coaching is second to none. Feel moulded now and ready, obviously you've boxed abroad, you've, you've been under a huge pressure when you won the Commonwealth Games, all giving you the perfect grounding for the pro rank. Yes, yeah, uh, I've got to say it's a great place. To train for you know any young boxer coming through, you know, it's give me a lot of experience that I'll take through with me. You know, not just uh, experience in fighting, but you know how to look after your arm, your nutrition, everything. You know, that's what you learn there. But yeah, I've been uh, places like Kazakhstan, for top kids in the world, and uh, that's going to give me the experience now. You know, hopefully push on and uh, get myself to some titles in the near future. Renowned for, for a big puncher, I know we were talking back there, but what, what do you expect Scott Fitzgerald to bring to the pro ranks in terms of style and excitement? Yeah, I'm looking to uh, you know get some knockouts, that's what everyone wants to see, you know, it's entertaining, you know, not just boxing fans, anybody wants to see big knockouts and you know that's what I'll be looking to do. So, you know, um, uh, I'll be churning pro with Carlins and uh, hopefully have the experience to um and make the transition to the pro game and start, you know, really some big shots. Finally, expecting some big support from Preston and North Western. Straight away in November, two big shows to get cracking with. Yeah, two great shows, one in Liverpool and one in Manchester, which you know, isn't too far from Preston, you know, 40 minutes each or something. So, uh, yeah, great shows to be on. And uh, last, last year at the Commonwealth Games, it was unbelievable how much uh, people of Preston got behind me. So, hopefully, that can carry on and, uh, and build it up even more now and uh, keep, keep winning. And, to keep, you know, get more and more people on board. Thanks, Scott. Very exciting young man, very exciting young fighter, and it's going to be a great journey, one I'm really looking forward to. I think you should just quickly comment on the development happening in British boxing at the moment. So many great fighters at world level, of course, in this country. So many great fighters coming up who Scott trained with or probably just saw leaving the GB squad, the likes of Anthony Joshua, Luke Campbell, Callum Smith. Khalid Yafai, and then the level beneath them, the guys that are just turning pro or just starting their own journey. You know, like to Reece Bellotti, two-way ABA champion, Jake Paul recently signed with us, um, and of course, 
uh, Scott as well. So, so many different levels of fighters coming through now. Very exciting times. And uh, watch out for this young man, Scott Fitzgerald. It's going to be a great journey. So, thank you very much. And we'll start the anti-quality press conference in a few minutes. Thank you.